Hello, my friends of Hattori Labs. My name is Saul Motoya. Please welcome to this tutorial, our first tutorial in the new online platform that is Tupac Cloud, that is the least painful tool for groundwater modeling. We are going to do in this time a tutorial for river groundwater interaction entirely in Tupac Cloud, and then you will see how it's going how it works okay so we sign in you need to sign in uh, for example here I will, I'm going to Saul Montoya uh, uh, sorry. you need to make your account if you have to do your account you can just register but in this case I have an account so in main.com. Okay, so we do the signing. Okay. And then I can add a project. Uh, I will add a project that will be river interaction. River interaction interaction. Great. This is the number. Uh, I strongly recommend not to use uh, spaces or uh, spaces or a special character here. But the mode description is example of river aquifer aquifer interaction. Okay, I will use seconds and meters, and on the EPSG code is I will uh, all my chip files here are on WGS eighty four eighteen south. And a start date here will be the 1st of January of 2004. Sorry, 2004. 2004. And save. Okay, so we have the project name River Interaction, so we can edit that. Since I am the user of a freemium license, I can only create just one project. So I will edit. I have to give a um, mesh limit. So I will select um, a chip file. Uh, at this time, um, at this time, uh, Tupac Cloud works with simple chip with simple chip files. Uh, we have plans that this work with. Uh, we have plans that this work with. Um, how to say uh, GeoJSON or like GeoPackage. So this is the model limit. We will have three refinement levels. Why? Because in Tupac Cloud, everything, every boundary condition, every area of interest or every, uh, yeah, mostly area of interest boundary condition is a refinement level. So in this case, we are going to use three because if you define something as uh, this, also define the, the the boundary condition. So, for example, we have rivers. So I, we are going to call the rivers. So this is you are going to have the, a copy of this on the description of the video as well. So we have the model river. We have the wells. So we the these are the model wells, and then we have a general head boundary. Okay and this is a general head boundary we are going to use the number one here model ghb one okay save so we have inserted the limit and three chip files corresponding to the river to the wells and to general head boundary so we have um from the maximum size is 100 to 50 since you are in the freemium license, you only have three refinement stages, but that's okay. So we can type 20 here, and that creates a Voronoi mesh, okay? Geospatial Voronoi mesh. So what does it mean, Geospatial Voronoi? That you can actually do some click. Okay, so we can generate some cell 2D that is uh, information related to the, to the, um, to the cells, okay, and then we type continue. Then we have to give a vertical layer setup. So 
it will be a dem. So here on the raster we have the T file. And the number of layers are we are going to type three. In the freemium, we you have five, you can define till five layers. Okay, so this is bottom layer one, bottom layer two, bottom layer three. And the stress period number, you can define till five stress period numbers. In this case, we are going to define two stress period numbers. The first will be the first day of, let's see, 0201 2004, 0000, zero, zero. multiply one, one, and this will be steady. Well, this will be from two to one, 2004, zero, 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 zero. You can always use this if you like, okay? I prefer to type it. Okay, then second stress period actually takes 20 days. Zero, zero. And the multiplier is one and the time steps one and this is transient. Okay, next. Okay, great. So here, uh, Our boundary conditions, this will be 0 0.03. So this is a really permeable uh, layer because, well, so, and this is a, a 10 to the minus five, and this is one to the minus five. And this will be convertible, confined and confined, safe. One, a to the minus six, and this is the this is the yield of the confined aquifers, and this is the yield of the unconfined aquifers. Okay, the initial heads are inserted as a raster. Okay, and then we define the wells. The pumping rate here is zero because on the steady state actually it's not pumping, and on the transient is pumping five liters per second. On the boundary conditions here, as well here, it's not pumping, and then here is pumping just 10 liters per second, and here is not pumping, and here is pumping five liters per second, five liters per second. Okay, so we have defined the wells, and then let's define the drains. No, we don't have we don't have drains in this model. So let's define the rivers. So this is our river. Okay, and to the river you can define the depth. I mean, what is the depth? I mean, in this case, okay, in this case, is defined that the water surface is the surface of the Jordan. Okay, this is some simplification, but it actually is really powerful. Okay. Uh, and then you have the because for you need the water surface and then you want the 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 river bottom okay so but actually by default the water surface is the model top and the river bottom is model top minus the value of the depth so in this case it will be two meters okay so and this will be 0 0.0110 to the minus 4. So why I do that? No, 110 to the minus no, 0 0.01. Okay. Why I do that is uh, there uh, we are working in another an enhancement. There's another part of this where you can that if you have a specific data, actually you can. Uh, that you have a specific data of the water surface and the water top yes you can you can um, you can modify that afterwards okay and that is another part that is on developing of this application okay uh, this application is really a focus is really interested on having a smooth uh, tool like a really user-friendly tool to create groundwater models that while that is even on cloud as a cloud platform okay so we have rivers 
So then we have general head boundary. So we have wells, general, and the general head boundary is represent the regional flow. In this case, goes from 65, 65, and the conductance is 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and this is also 65. 65, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and this is 85, 85, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, okay, and this is also 85, 85, 0 0.01, this is 0 0.01 okay that's great so then you have already all the boundary conditions okay and then from the boundary conditions we have selected two boundary conditions that are always aer aerial so that is the recharge file so we define the recharge zone and then we have a shape file for the recharge zone here and the that is this one okay because there is no recharge on the River. and then the initial conditions here is 10 3 e to the minus 9 in the two boundary conditions and then here as well and then we have the evapotranspiration file the evapotranspiration file actually there is evapotranspiration in the whole well we can define it evaporation in our recharge zone that's what that is possible so and the evapotranspiration is 3a to the minus 8 and the evaporation drip is the routine zone so let's say it's 1.5 meters okay so just to review the rate is 3 to the minus 9 and the rate of evapotranspiration is 3 to the minus 8 Okay, and then we can run our model. Okay, that the executable is a executable of modflow 6 that is running. So you can run the model. And then you can have the, this is the log of the water, of the model creation. And this is something that you have to take into account that it actually, it creates a flow pipe project. So it will compile the flow pipe project and then it will run mod flow. Okay. So, and then we can get the graph of the balance where we see that in the first, uh, in the first stress period, we didn't have pumping and now we have pumping. And then the river is the one that takes more water. And the river is also the, the one that takes, that give more water and takes more water, bring our flow the second one and recharge is really small okay and and then we have heads to d layer one so we can define the heads here and these are the heads and then we can select different layers of the heads yes and then here i can turn on some of the boundary conditions that we have okay then we can if you want this as a geospatial because you want the you, for example, I can show the layer one on the, I, you can, this is the heads and then if you want to see the value, for example, this is the, this is the contour value. Mm -hmm. This is just to show that on the, and as well, we have a great tool to do cross section. So for example, I will use the second one and then I will 
click here and then click here and then I want a grid on the cross section and it will generate a cross section where the river is here. Okay, and this is the water table and these are the heads. Wow, really, really interesting. Uh, well, you see some of the code. Um, well, that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, the, the tool is entirely for you to use. You are welcome to use. Uh, the freemium license has a lot of um, has a lot of uh, capabilities, and then we are on the development of new capabilities as well. And it was really a pleasure to have given you this this uh, tutorial. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.